Hello, Moto. Are you guys ready for a couple more scary THX stories? Yes, I am. Even a candy bear is ready for these. I am born ready. I'm ready when you are. Even a golden retriever like me is always ready for almost anything. I am also ready. Even a cat like me is always ready. I really love to hear those stories from you. Let me start us off. Do you think the lost THX text trailers were overdone with? Nope. There are more. I never expected to see more lost THX trailers after seeing the first four. I can't stop thinking about that awful memory it can't leave me alone. It was a day after my birthday. I was on my FM playing some gacha club. Just then, my mom came home from work and told me she found a never-before-seen Toy Story and THX crossover DVD. I took a good look at the DVD. It consisted of Woody, Buzz, Bo Peep and Jesse staring directly into the camera while Zorg and Tex are in the background. It was labeled as THX, Tex and Zorg. Looks interesting, I thought to myself. My mum was kind enough to find an extremely rare DVD like that. Once she left to visit her friend, I decided to test the DVD. I put the disc straight into the portable DVD player, ready to watch a never-before-seen trailer. The DVD opened with the Walt Disney Home Entertainment logo, then it cut straight to the DVD menu. The DVD menu looked really great to look at. It consisted of the Toy Story characters and text in colored boxes. There were four menu buttons. Play, Visit Pixar, Subtitles and DVD Credits. I hit play so I can watch it. Just then, a warning came up. This trailer was made all the way back in October of 2002 for the release of The Ring, despite not being THX certified. Later in 2005, this trailer was re-released in cinemas on September 6, 2005 until December 26, 2005 for horror movies in honor of the 10th anniversary of Toy Story. Also, this trailer must not be viewed by minors due to the nature of this trailer. Viewer discretion is advised. Aw, oh, man, I said, face pumming. Here I go again. The trailer started with a city in night. It showed an aerial shot of the city, then another with a view of an empty building. Just then, Zerg and Tex walked in. Are you ready, Zerg? Tex asked. I certainly am, Texas. Zerg answered. Zerg and Tex got their weapons ready. Tex held his chainsaw and Zerg held his ion blaster. Four people were in a room. They resembled Woody, Buzz, Jesse and Bo Peep's actors, Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Joan Cusack and Annie Potts. So, do you recall hearing the news about this crazy robot recently? The man resembling Hanks asked. Nope, never heard of him. The woman resembling Potts replied. I did, he has murdered hundreds of innocent people. Somebody has to stop him. Replied the man resembling Alan. Um, do you get the feeling we're being watched? Asked the woman resembling Cusick. Yep, you certainly do. Tex said off screen. The four people then looked at the doorway, and Tex was standing in there. Are you ready to have lots of fun with the team man tonight? And no, said the man resembling Hanks. Zerg then appeared beside Tex. Don't forget about me. The four people exchanged glances and quickly evacuated from the room. Hey, where are you all going? You haven't seen the team man's magic tricks yet Tex called. Zerg said, we'll show them. Come on the Tickillers then chased after the four people through a dark hallway. They laughed madly as they pointed their weapons towards the people. It showed a shot of Tex running the nearest, grinning stupidly, while Zerg was racing from behind. Zerg's eyes and teeth were glowing in the dark, which is kind of a good effect. As Tex's face got the closest, he suggested that he and Zerg should swap weapons. Zerg agreed to this and the two continued chasing the four people. The four people found themselves in a mall which they unexpectedly barged into. What do we do now? The man resembling Alan asked. Oh, Hanksies, we're still here. Tex cooed. The four people looked back, and Tex and Zerg were standing from a distance. Let's go Kablooey, Zergules, Tex shouted with determination. Zerg nodded. 
Affirmative. Tex then started blasting Zerg's ion blaster around the entire hallway, trying to not shoot his aide, who is running towards the people. Tex laughed like crazy as he abused the power of Zerg's blaster, and right before Zerg was about to kill the man resembling Tom Hanks with Tex's chainsaw, it cut to a shot of the building, with the people screaming. All I could hear was blood splattering, the chainsaw, Zerg's ion blaster, the evil laughters of Zerg and Tex and the people's blood-curdling screams. What the hell am I watching? I asked myself in a low monotone. Just then, the scene faded to black. But the trailer wasn't over yet. It showed a shot of the logo, until Woody, Buzz, Bo Peep and Jesse walked into the shot. I'm not so sure about this, Woody. Why did you plan to take us here in the first place Bo Peep asked. He wanted to take us to the hideout of the crazy robot who murdered lots of people, Jesse responded. Woody, now that you took us here, can we please go back to Andy's house I have a feeling that this robot works for Zerg, Buzz stated. Woody reassured everyone that everything will be okay. Don't worry, guys. As long as nobody tries to kill us, we'll be alright. If you need somebody, I'm here for you. But aside from that, I doubt that Zerg would even. Just then, Woody's sentence was interrupted by faint chuckling. The four toys started to get scared. Do you hear that? Jesse asked fearfully. Jesse, you heard what Woody said. Everything is going to be alright Buzz told Jesse, trying to reassure her. They heard the same chuckle again. Bo Peep then pointed her crook, waiting to perform self-defense on her enemy. I think Jesse is right. I hear that. Just then? Tex dropped down in front of the four toys. Woody jumped back in shock. Moments later, Zerg appeared from the shadows, with his sinister low-pitched chuckle. Hello, toys, Tex said, chuckling again. Tex? Woody asked in confusion. Zerg? Buzz angrily berated. It is I, indeed, Lightyear. It is I, Zerg. Zerg responded. What are you four lost little toys doing in my hideout? Tex asked. Woody and Buzz walked towards Tex and Zerg to confront them. You, Red Robot, have done such awful things to those people. Murdering them all because they were afraid of a certain logo? That is no excuse to kill somebody. Buzz spoke. Buzz is right. Woody spoke also, joining the conversation. You and Zerg have no remorse for murdering those innocent people. We are going to have to notify the authorities and have you two executed, Zerg chuckled. Really? I am evil, and Tex has fallen into the dark side and he and I are now partners. We have a thing in common, and that is, we are both associated with androids. Do you two think you are strong enough to defeat us? I don't think so. Tex said, tauntingly. Woody clenched his fist, and Buzz angrily grimaced. Buzz walked up towards Zerg. As he was about to throw a punch, Tex swung his mallet towards him, sending him flying into the air. Buzz! Woody shouted. Buzz landed onto the ground. He realized he lost his leg. Bo Peep gasped and Jesse said, No. Zerg rolled up to Buzz. It's over, light year, I have one for real. Zerg mockingly said. Buzz then retorted. Zerg, if you ever destroy me, my friends will destroy you, too. Zerg, offended, pointed his blaster at Buzz and shot his other leg. No. Not my other leg. Buzz shouted in horror. Tex, finish the job. Zerg called, snapping his fingers. Tex then walked from behind, laughing stupidly. Let's give good old Buzzy a splashy washy. Tex shouted with encouragement. Buzz then screamed as his plastic was being dented and destroyed. He continued screaming until his head was fully destroyed. Woody, Bo and Jesse gasped in horror as they stared at Buzz's corpse. No! Woody shouted. Bo Peep gasped. Buzz! Jesse cried. Tex then chuckled again and said, Which toy should the T-Man play with first? Zerg then nodded in agreement. The three remaining toys then exchanged nervous looks until Woody shouted, Run Woody, Jesse and Bo ran from the two criminals. Let's get them Zerg shouted, pointing to the toys. Tex turned on his jetpack and followed them, while Zerg rolled from behind. Woody, Bo and Jesse ran for their lives, until Jesse tripped over. Jesse! Get up Bo Peep called out. Come on. 
We have to get out of here Woody called, too. As Jessie was about to get up, a cardboard box then fell on top of her. Jessie was trapped inside of the box. She started hearing shadowy scary voices and she started hallucinating the walls closing in on her. She began to hyperventilate. Am I in a box? Jessie began to panic. Just then, she began to pound on the box, screaming for her life. Help! Woody! Bo! Help me! Just then, Tex teleported inside the box. Hey there, cowgirl, Tex said, grinning wildly. Jessie gasped loudly. Wah what are you gonna do? Jessie asked in fear. Don't worry, your little toy life is going to end painless and softly. Tex replied. You two leave her alone. Woody angrily shouted. Tex heard from inside of the box. He then said, Zerg. Ignite the box. At your service. Zerg said, on top of the box. Zerg was holding a small ounce of gas and a liter match. He then poured the gas over the top of the box and dropped the match, causing a fire. Tex teleported out of the box and Zerg jumped off of the box, and the two began to laugh loudly. As the box started burning, Jessie screamed in a blood-curdling tone, as if her actress, Joan Cusack was in agony. Jessie! No Woody shouted in horror, watching his friend get burnt alive. Jessie continued screaming, as it showed a shot of her plastic melting. Just then, she fainted and stopped screaming. Tex kicked the box aside, and it showed the most heartbreaking scene in this trailer. Jessie was burned, she was covered in soot, her fabric and hat were charred, and her face was smoky and supposedly melted. Holy, I said under my breath. For Jessie. Woody and Bo stared at Jessie's burnt corpse before the former broke the silence. Bo, we gotta get out of here now. Woody reminded. The two remaining toys then ran for it again. At the moment, Zorg's iron blaster pellets and made contact with Bo Peep's lips, disintegrating them. Bo. Oh. No. Woody cried. Bo then started to say her dying words. Woody please go without me. Run for your life Woody nodded and complied and made a run for it. Tex then smashed Bo Peep's porcelain body with his mallet. Woody continued running from the THX hideout, looking back at Zerg and Tex. Come back here, cowboy. Tex called from the distance. Woody ignored Tex and continued running. He then found a hallway and hid behind a bench. He sat down to catch breath. As Woody continued breathing, he heard Tex and Zerg enter the room. Oh, cowboy, where are you? Tex cooed. Come out, come out wherever you are, Zerg joined in. Woody toned down his pantings so they can't hear him. Tex then put on his sensibility to calculate where Woody is. Hey, Zerg, I think I know where Pride is. Tex reminded. Woody widened his eyes in shock. They knew where he was hiding. Well, I'll be waiting back at the logo. Zerg responded. It showed a shot of Woody in the shadows. Just then... Tex teleported in front of him. Peekaboo, Tex said. Woody gasped and screamed at the same time in shock. Looks like sexy Texy is going to play with a little cowboy doll tonight, Tex said sinisterly and comedically. Woody attempted to make another run for his life, but Tex then grabbed him by the waist and the two flew into the air. Woody began screaming as Tex held him as he flew towards the THX logo. Tex hovered in the air, holding Woody by the arm. Ready to enjoy your fall, pride? Tex asked mockingly before chuckling heavily. No. Put me down properly. Woody angrily responded. Tex then said, okay. He let go of Woody, leaving him to plummet. Woody fell screaming from a great height, before hitting the ground. He got back on his rear, and spotted Zerg next to him, who was pointing his ion blaster towards him. Just then, Tex dropped down next to him, too. It's the end for you. Cried. Zerg evilly taunted. No, please don't hurt me, Woody pleaded. Too bad, Sheriff. Tex responded. Tex then proceeded to grab a chainsaw from his belt and sawed both of Woody's arms off, while Zerg then shot his legs off. Woody gasped, looking at his arms that were sawed off, lying next to him. Woody was shocked at first, but then angrily yelled at Tex and Zerg. What have you done? This is why you two are killing machines. Damn you. Damn you to hell. Zerg and Tex moved towards Woody and stared down at him. You're right, pride. 
We are killing machines. Tex responded. Thank you so much for the compliment. Zerg remarked. Tex and Zerg then started to talk at the same time. Get ready for your circle of life to end. Cowboy the two killers then held up their weapons and closed in on Woody, with their shadows only being shown as Woody watched in horror. Tex started hammering Woody's voice box, while Zerg being blasting at it. The criminals began laughing while doing it. Woody screamed again, but in agony as his voice box was getting damaged. The screen then cut to black. But once again, the trailer wasn't over yet. It showed a shot of an abandoned mall. Is anybody here said a young child's voice echoing. Just then, a familiar child walked in, and it was Andy, the owner of Buzz and Woody. Andy looked afraid as he saw the destructed property and the bodies of the four people. Why is he visiting a mall at dark unsupervised? Wouldn't his mother be worried sick? Andy later went up the escalator to investigate what else happened. As he continued to look around, a shadow then cut through a wall in the background, then the scene started to glow in a shade of dark red. We then heard the same chuckle text made earlier. Who's here? Andy asked fearfully. Hello? Anybody? Just then, he saw two grim dark faces through a broken glass door. They were Zerg and Tex. Hey, Sparky, Tex mocked. Where's your mommy? Andy gasped in shock. Don't worry, my child. Zerg responded. We're only going to make your death painless. Just then, the two criminals then charged up towards Andy. Andy ran away screaming running down the escalator. As he was about to reach the door, Tex then grabbed him by the arm. Help! Someone! Andy screamed, his voice echoing in the mall. Tex then pushed Andy onto the floor. Andy cried with realistic sobs and he started shedding tears. Say goodbye to Tex the T-Wex Tex yelled, grinning evilly. Please, don't hurt me, Andy said, sobbing. Don't be afraid, my child. I will make this painless, Zerg spoke, as he rolled up to Andy. Just then, Zerg picked Andy up by the throat and began to throttle him. Oh, my god, I said, under my breath. Not Andy I can hear Andy gagging and choking as Zerg was strangling him. Andy was still shedding tears as his windpipe was being crushed. Good night, my son. You are now in the afterlife, Zerg said. Just then, Andy lost oxygen and blacked out. Zerg dropped Andy to the ground. The latter couldn't move as he died from being strangled to death by the former. The two criminals then exited the abandoned mall, and the scene faded to black. Just then, it faded to a scene of a wide shot of the THX logo in a dark background. Just then, we heard the chorus of people screaming for the deep note, mostly common with women's screams and children's cries. What the hell? I said under my breath. The deep note went for 10 seconds until Tex and Zerg dropped down onto that ground. Peekaboo, viewer said Tex. Tex has a new partner, and that is me. Emperor Zerg. Zerg remarked. Tex then said, that's right, Zerg and I are like brothers. We have a habit of conquering the world. And we will never ever give up. If you are ever afraid of either THX, Tex or me, we will destroy you. Zerg added. Have a good night, Tex said in a sinister monotone, before holding Zerg by the arms and flying away both laughing evilly. Then, it showed the old THX slogan, the audience is listening, but with Zerg and Tex faintly noticeable in the black background. As the screen was displayed, I can hear Zerg's laughter. It then faded out. Just when I thought the DVD was over, a close-up of Zerg's bloodstained face appeared on the screen with a woman screaming in the background, which scared the crap out of me. Just then, it took me back to the DVD menu, meaning that the DVD ended. That was the weirdest I have seen for today. I got up from my bed and texted my mom about the DVD. When she got home, I showed her the footage and she was appalled. I managed to record the footage and grab a few screenshots before my mom burned the DVD. That night, I had nightmares of Tex and Zerg killing me the same ways they killed the four toys, beating me with a mallet, burning me alive inside of a box and sawing my arms off. I didn't watch another Toy Story movie again. This is why you probably shouldn't associate with THX anymore. Just my advice. Tex looks creepy and normal on the outside, but inside, he is a killing machine. The end. 
Hey Talesland, I found a scary thanks story called the thanks test that I found of the Geoshia's Lost Episodes wiki website on fandom. Do you mind reading this and having each friend of yours continue? Yes, Xiaobon, I appreciate it. Okay, let me know if it gets too scary. Okay, the THX test, requested by my new friend Xiaobon Dimer, so here goes. I may want to try to explain myself before I mention what THX is, if that's fine with you guys. You guys continue the rest. I work at Walt Disney World, but not as one of the mascot characters, or security guards, more or less the guy who'll be there helping out fixing out some of the broken parts and say, an attraction or something on the lines with the Disney magic. Heck, I even checked out Discovery Island in my spare time with a few of my friends who also work at the parks. But that is for another time, I'm pretty sure y'all heard about the pound deep not a challenge or something with THX sound tests. If you easily forget about it, don't worry, a lot of people do at times. THX is a sound company, normally in charge of sound systems or sounds you hear in movies and whatnot. The easy way to find out about the THX brand is to find one of those nearby classic kid films on DVD and look at the back of the box. You'll see the words THX somewhere in the corners of the box. Normally they're on the front of the box as well, once again in the corner of the box. Why did I mention this company? Are they evil or something? No, but I would like to tell you a story about those sound tests you'll see before you watch the actual movie. They have these sound tests and they're nothing more than little videos, just telling you that the sound on the movie disc was helped out by THX and whatnot. Sometimes they'll even have these little animations with them, normally with characters like Shrek and Homer Simpson, and even their own mascot named. Tex, I couldn't find the video, I think it's lost in time or something, but I made an edit on what the logo kind of looked like in the video. I actually remember seeing the video, but I think it's long long gone, so no hope of finding it. So? What's the video about? Well, if you watch the sound tests, then you know the typical intro before the actual logo starts up. They'll mention something about how theaters and homes use the sound system a lot and whatnot, but this time it didn't really turn into the THX logo just yet. This one looked like the digitally mastered one, which is the one that starts out with a blue box on the outside. That same blue box turned red. Not blood red, not spooky red, just... Red. The text on the screen changed into something different. It stated this on the screen. However. We have also been working on tests on the ears, and would like to mention the person who is watching this. The text faded, and then another group of text appeared on screen as the typical deep note intro played. This test will not make you fail, nor win. You'll forget about the test and started to focus on what you have done, and why you have done these terrible events. Maybe to a loved one, maybe to someone that we don't know. But all we know is that what you did will not be allowed under any short of the Disney brand let alone any brand you'll be into with many theme parks around the world. Things aren't so happy after all, aren't they? The deep note grew louder than you would ever be expected, and would have hurt your ears, making them ring. We know what you did, and you cannot change that, ever. The pitch grew louder, and louder, and louder, until you can start screaming about how much it can hurt you. Yet, it did not break the glass you'll be put in. We are always watching. Everybody is watching you feel this way, and we are deeply sorry for that. But things must be the way they are. The note will start to make you feel uneasy, yet scared. It's like it makes your mind feel like you're getting beat up or something worse. Oh, and one more thing. The sound has cut off, like a snap and now you can only see the red square. The text then appeared, the audience is listening. The deep note has reached its loudest point. It's like the end of the THX iconic deep note, but way, 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 louder than it was before. This made you lose your eardrums and now will leave you with marks around your ears as you fade into your knockout. The last thing you see is the THX logo, and you can see a little bit of green around it before the video ended. So, what was this video used for? Remember when I mentioned the security of Disney? Someone tested this clip to a few people who have broken the laws over at Disney World. The sound would change back into the normal THX deep note because, weirdly, the video age. And it has not aged pretty. You seen those rod and rusts of metal? Yeah, guess what the tapes outside was made out of? This affected the tape pretty badly and Disney decided to scrap it. 
As for the moment, I do not know where the video is now, but a lot of people have told me that it's most likely in the trash, while others say that it's now used as a prop and the footage for the tape has been destroyed like the day after I watched it with a few co-workers of mine. I didn't want to mention that at the beginning of this post, because of how stupid it would have been and that I didn't want people to say that it's pretty stupid that where you watched it and who you watched it with. Speaking of that, where did I watch it at? At the Matterhorn Mountain, where the indoor gym is. I couldn't be able to watch it at Discovery because, look at it, it's basically an abandoned set now than a pirate animal themed island. Oh, and one last question before I leave this post off, you guys ever got scared by something little as a logo? The end. Alright, guys, bedtime. To your tents you go and we'll check out first thing in the morning. Good night. Never give up! Trust your instincts! Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye.